Hello again guys, it's your boy Manny here. Right back to open tunes and I promise you guys that in my next video I was gonna make a character like show you guys how to draw an animated character. So here we are, I just made a little um hand drawn sequence of someone jumping up. Let's say a young dude with shorts on jumping. That's the sequence. But now it's just on paper. I need to make it digital so that you know we can put colors and you know make it really clear. Right now it's just a kind of sketch. We need to make it really really clear, you know. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do just that. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and select the geometric tool right here and then go to polyline polyline and then let's switch this to full screen mode we're gonna zoom in right there and this a little um geometric tool again then we're just gonna kind of trace this out it's gonna take a little time though after this first one I'm just gonna skip right through it I'm just gonna show you guys how to do the tracing right just this for this head part I'm gonna show you guys how to do just that so uh, I hope you guys have been practicing from the last video you guys used the frame by frame you worked, you did something out of that, and also the keyframe style of animation. I hope you guys did something out of that as well. Yeah, the more you practice, the better you become in everything, not just animation, everything in life. So, you guys keep practicing when you watch a video, practice, and I hope you guys subscribe to the channel already. Okay, let me just be done with this hand. I'm just gonna show you guys how to smoothen all these lines up. All right, here we go. Almost there. I don't want to be too silent about this. Okay. So um, we're just gonna press C on your keyboard press C so you can adjust zoom in right there and then adjust it so that these lines are kind of smooth a little just adjust that so they feel smooth and for every single line you draw you're gonna do this so that doesn't look your drawing doesn't look rough okay just do this it's a long process so we're just gonna skip right through it all right guys we've just converted all those drawings those drawings on the paper anyway to digital drawings it took it took a while but we got there and you can see this is the end result but they're still kind of separate though as they were on the paper we want to kind of make them in one position so that everything just kind of happens on the same spot you know so how are we gonna do that first of all we need to set a kind of yeah origin point let's say that's our origin point so we're just gonna go at each frame and then move move that that that's cool figure just press s and keyboard there so you can select it that particular figure to that point so it's kind of in that point there like that i hope you guys can see this all right move to the next frame and then do the same thing like that so it's in that position yeah 
and keep going like that so guys please do have to subscribe because more and more videos are gonna be coming coming up this is just an introduction to how it's really gonna be like the it's gonna be quite a journey so you guys should just be prepared to you know get those new vids because i'm gonna be uploading regularly and we're gonna be getting more stuff like this some pretty handy stuff so you guys should buckle up all right uh, this is taking so much time man i am already tired aren't you guys like aren't you guys tired i mean i am i'm tired for sure oh uh, man we need to make sure that is in the right spot okay that's that's good right there move this like this i know most of you will be wondering like how long did it take me to do this <laughs> it actually took a while it took a while though let's see um 10 minutes on each frame because we had to straighten the lines yeah we straighten the poly lines so that it doesn't look a little blocky so it looks smooth all right we want to straighten those lines so it's it's gonna take time for sure that's not a matter of question it's a matter of how fast you can do it so um, it's just you just need to get used to it if you're used to it and I'm sure it won't take that much time it's all about being used to the whole process and I've been doing this for a while and I'm definitely used to it so it didn't take me that much time let's say an hour 30 minutes maybe because we have about 15 frames here So, just move that right there. There's the 13th, 13th one. Okay, move that. I wish this could be a little bigger. I don't want to set in the full screen, so I won't be able to see the, um, the rows and the columns that I'm working with. So I just have to, you know, be moving in around, panning. Okay, we're almost done. After this one more to go, I can't wait, man. I do not want to consume too much time on this. It is not relevant. I really needed you guys to see me do this. Set it in one position. All the drawings into one position right there oh yeah and I'm also going to make a video on how you can do a hand drawn sequence not on the computer like on a paper how you can make a hand drawn sequence on a paper accurately just as I did here okay before anyway I've kind of deleted that part but I am going to show you guys how to do that alright so we have everything in one spot let's go ahead and remove the origin point right there so we have everything in one spot you can see that you can see the sequence kind of jump in jumps up and then he comes down so now we have to like put this in order so that we want it to be in a one second duration so we're gonna put this in order let's go ahead and remove this and then extend it to uh, 24 and then look for the frames that are going to take more time and just put them in there 15 it's gonna take more time them right there 
right there like that put it in and the number is according to the frames right here you can see them the numbers right there so we number it according to that okay on let's say two also have two frames two frames three will be one frame four will be one frame five will be one frame six will be one frame seven seven will be two frames it's just an assumption guys i'm not really you know i don't want to consume too much time so i'm just assuming so um, eight right there this right here this um little lines at the end of the hands are kind of like motion blurs so the ones that have motion blurs are going to occupy one frame and then the one that has no motion blur are going to occupy two frames it's just my style and we could come up with yours all right um i need to get this done as quickly as possible not to take too much of your time i know you guys are really busy people business people really appreciate you guys coming onto my channel to first subscribe and then take the time to watch this i really appreciate you guys it means a lot to me out of your busy schedule you did this for me i couldn't be more grateful okay 11 one frame 12 one frame 13 oh yeah another thing is the other safe future you guys should um, take note to set the auto save just go to file preferences preferences and then in general select save manually and set the auto save to an interval of five minutes right here mine is already set so you can go ahead and do yours five minutes so that it kind of saves every five minutes for you and then um this Go on with our work, shall we? The 14 is gonna take like two frames. And 15, that, that. Okay, let's see how this plays out, shall we? Press L, or you could just from here to loop it right here, this spot. You loop it there, like that jumps and then it comes down I'd have loved to put a little box there to signify like a kind of camera I don't want to use the main camera here but it's alright I'm sure you guys can do that on your own with the little knowledge you have now alright so guys thanks for watching do well to subscribe to see the next video the next tutorial that I'm gonna be doing alright thanks guys peace